Today, I'm going to show you how to do the highlight effect in shortcut video. I just assume that you've downloaded the program and let me go grab. So in my case, it's in my D drive program file. So I just go to the shortcut folder, scroll down and open up the program by clicking the execute file. All right. Just wait for a while. It's going to take quite some time because I just load that up. Usually you won't see anything. The first thing that I'm going to do is to click the timeline because you need to drag your folder down to the timeline for further edit. Let me open up the file. You can either go to file and open file. But for me, I just do control O. Okay, control O. And then I just grab whatever video or image. So in my case, it's an image. So it's rather easy. Let's say if I want to highlight this part, then what I can do is simply go down to the timeline and then you see the hand tool. You just left click once and you select the clip. Then you can go to the filters. If you don't have a filter, then just click the filters. You will have the filters tab here. After you select the clip here, move to the add key under the filters. Left click once, and then you will have a selection of effects. But you won't find the effects here because the effect is split into the video effects and the audio effects. And in this case, we want video effects. So we left click show video filters and then we can see the mask effect. Right now, we need to add the whole new black screen on top of this clip. In order to add one video track, you can either click, oh, actually I forget that because I just remember, you can hit the shortcut by control Y, all right? Then you will see an additional video channel V2 on top of your original video channel V1. Okay, let me click Control minus sign to make it more fit the screen. It's optional. And you can add a dark image here. I press Control Shift O. Then you will have Open Other. Underneath Generator, click color and then add the preset. I've made the preset of mask, but in your case, you probably only have default. It's okay. And then color, I just select whatever color. I just select black and then alpha channel. Let me try 120 and then I click OK. Then I have the black screen. All right. Then I select that. I left click and drag and drop it to the video too. Let me press open. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I don't want that long, right? So jump to this part by clicking Alt and then the direction key. So you jump here and you press S, S for special, and then you slice it. Let's say I want to cut this part instead of this. Then when you are on the left hand side, you press Control and then the direction key. Then you select this clip and then you press X, X for Xerox, whatever. Then you cut that. Then you will see this, right? But what we want is to highlight this part. So what we can do is select the top clip, which is on the video channel 2, V2. And then we go to filter and click add. All right, simply select the mask. Then you see this, right? And then you can tweak the width and height for, the, for what you want. Okay, so you just tweak that. But what we want is to subtract this one. So we can go to the operation and click the arrow. Instead of right on clear, you select subtract. Okay, if you subtract, then you will see it here, right? But it doesn't cover the area that we want. So what we can do is we go to the filter panel again, add one more filter. We add this by choosing the size and position. All right. And after you choose the size and position, simply, oops, excuse me. Sometimes you have this, you have to, you have to select the whole channel by clicking this and select the clip. All right. And then go back to your size and position. 
and then move it. Sometimes you need to low, yeah, control Z. Oh, excuse me. Sometimes it doesn't work. So I select that, and you see, I can change the position of the drag. In this case, you can also add it a little bit bigger. All right. Then you go back to the mask, and then you change the width and height. Change it back, and then I change the height to a little bit low, and I reduce the width. Yeah. Oh, I see. You can also change the horizontal one. Okay. Let me reduce the width a little bit and move to the right. So you can create some highlight here. Actually, you can also add softness like this. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you. Bye bye.